Hello, and welcome to my course on data acquisition and manipulation with Python, a course intended for aspiring data scientists. I live in the Salt Lake City area of the state of Utah in the United States of America. I got my education at Salt Lake Community College and the University of Utah. I double majored in college, earning a Bachelor's of Science in Mathematics with an emphasis in statistics and an Honors Bachelor's of Science in Economics. Two years later, I earned a certificate in Big Data from the University of Utah. Currently, I'm a graduate student at the Mathematics Department at the University of Utah. I study financial econometric techniques and time series methods. I teach statistics courses at the University of Utah from basic statistics courses to intermediate statistics courses and R programming labs. I have lectured on using Python for analyzing stock data. To learn more about me, visit my website where you can see some of the past work I've done and read my blog. I write regularly on statistics and programming topics along with other topics I'm particularly interested in, such as politics and economics. You're welcome to follow me on Twitter where I update on my writings and thoughts about various topics. Now on to the course. This course has six sections that effectively cover two topics. In principle, one could watch the first half or the second half of the course alone since there is little overlap between the two halves. The first three sections of this course cover data access and manipulation tasks when the data is loaded in or in a nice format. The first section concerns getting and storing data. First, we look at loading data in different file formats into Python, from CSV to Excel to XML, and even data provided by a web API. We then focus on databases. The first thing we do is connect to a MySQL database from Python. Then we see how to store the data in a pandas data frame in an SQL table. Once we have the data in a table, we see how to bring the data back into a pandas data frame. The next section covers data wrangling, which includes combining data sets, aggregation, transformation, and working with strings. The third section covers grouping. We see the split apply combine procedure in action and use it for data aggregation, transformations, and creating pivot tables and performing cross tabulation. The next major topic is getting data from web pages. This is the topic for the last three sections. The fourth section of the course introduces web scraping with Beautiful Soup. We scrape web pages and crawl the web with it, creating a data set from Wikipedia pages. Next we talk about Selenium, a package that allows you to automate your web browser and scrape the web as if the computer were human. The final section of the course introduces ScrapeI. I give a very brief introduction to how to use some of ScrapePy's features to build a spider to crawl the web. From using the ScrapePy shell, to starting a project, to writing a simple spider, then deploying it. I first assume you have a computer with internet access. I will be using Windows. I prefer Linux in many ways, but Windows is common. It should not be difficult to adapt the lessons here to a Linux system. Mac users, I don't know much about Macs, I don't use them, and I don't like them, but most of this course content is system neutral anyway. I assume that you know how to use Python for non-day analysis tasks. You know basic Python objects, you know what if statements are, what loops are, what variables are, how to use and write functions, manage libraries and packages, and Python's flavor of object-oriented programming. I assume you have watched my video course, Unpacking NumPy and Pandas. This course is a continuation of that course. That said, you should be good to go if the following are true. You have Anaconda and MySQL installed on your computer. I assume that you know how to use Anaconda for tasks such as package management. I also assume you know minimal SQL, enough to create a database. Finally, I assume you know how to use NumPy and Pandas at a basic level. Pandas especially. This course will be expanding on how to use these packages for common data manipulation tasks. Who is this course for? As mentioned before, I assume you're somewhat fluent in Python. I assume you already know how to use two popular Python data analysis packages, NumPy and Pandas, and you want to learn more about using these packages. I assume you are interested in using Python for data analysis projects. I assume that you want to learn how to get messy internet data, using web scraping to read internet documents and construct data sets from them. Part of the big data revolution is the explosion of data available on the internet. In this course you will get started tapping into it. I assume that you will learn about the theory behind data analysis elsewhere. That is, all you want right now is to learn what the Python tools are and how to use them. 
I, of course, think the theory is fascinating and that learning the theory is critical for any successful data analyst, and ignoring theory may even be dangerous, but you will learn about it elsewhere. Finally, assume that you're interested in other technologies only so far as you can connect to them and use them from Python. Database systems in particular come to mind. We see some usage of SQL, but don't talk about SQL in depth or how to set up a good, efficient database. I can't wait to get started. Let's get right into the first section and look at how to read in data in various formats.